percent of between students get the necessary eight to ten hours of sleep daily. Due to this lack of sleep, they can experience their ability to grow in the food and really injured. As stated, as an educator in school administration, have you ever thought about how you can make students more productive and better learners? Well, today, I will be talking about the need for breaks during the school day. As a student myself who experiences sleep deprivation, I strongly advocate for this addition. I will present the issues associated with sleep deprivation, a solution to this problem, and the opposition to the solution. To start off, why are these breaks necessary? Sleep deprivation among high schoolers is an issue because their ability to their academic success is harmed. It can cause poor grades, depression, suicidal thoughts, and anxiety, as stated by Ruth Ann Richter from the Stanford School of Medicine. Obviously speaking, none of those are positive for students to experience. And with only 15% of students achieving the necess necessary amount of sleep daily, as stated earlier, the majority, 85%, is afflicted by these adverse effects, which introduces the need for naps. However, despite this evident necessity, skeptics still question the necessity. People often believe that naps and breaks have no benefit, but this mindset has been proven wrong. According to Mayo Clinic, Naps can reduce stress, improve alertness, and provide better performance and better memory retention. To further solidify my point, according to a study by Alejandro Yedas of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, groups given breaks were able to focus more than groups that were not. Clearly, the effectiveness cannot be questioned as they've been shown to provide positive benefits. Next, how can this be introduced into our schools? The sixth our issue of sleep deprivation, naps are the solution. For school schedule, we can add a 15 to 30 minute smart period in class between fourth and fifth periods. During this time, students can have a nap or take a break from learning in general, and when both of which have been shown to provide focus and production. As you can see, the solution is very simplistic and only requires a small amount of time for students to be able to rest. And with this addition, changes will happen. When put into effect, the day will function normally, but in the middle of fourth and fifth period, there will be a smart period where students will be able to relax and have a break or a nap in order to recharge for the rest of the day. Now that students are rested and prepared, they'll be more attentive and it'll be easier for them to retain the information, making them better participants in class. For us, we get the much needed break time that we have demanded for and, get, and for you teachers, you get students that are more focused. As you can see, both sides get what they would want from the other. And I'd like to sum up what I talked about. With the problem of sleep deprivation, students need time to rest. Due to this lack of sleep, they can experience poor grades, depression, suicidal thoughts, and anxiety. And for this reason, students need breaks and naps, which have both been proven to improve the issues I've stated earlier, and also improve memory and memory retention. All I ask of you is just 15 to 30 minutes to be added to our daily schedule. Not much, right? And once again, this does not just affect the students, but all of you as well. In conclusion, the solution to such a big problem affecting your students only requires all of you to unanimously decide to add this to your schedule.